Hey everyone, everybody here, and today we're going to be looking at Star Raider Ferrix. Or is it Ferric? Ferric or Ferrix? And this is part of the Transformers Legacy United line, and he's a Voyager class. He does look like he's a oh, Cyclonus. Is that it? I can't remember. He, like one of the uh, ones from, you know, Galvatron, Cyclonus, and the other guy. I don't know the name. Can't remember. But look on the side. We get the basic 40 years. Get some shots of him. And we get the back. So 31 steps from this to this. All right. Well, let's go ahead, get him open, and take a closer look. All right, here's Ferrak. So, instructions. And United has orange. I do like it. It looks pretty nice. I just love the different colors on the instructions. I don't know why. And for accessories, he's come with these two little blasters here and a bigger blaster. So he can hold the small blasters in his hand like this, or he can switch it out for the big one. And then you can put those small ones up on the wings here, which I like it on the wings. Plus, you know, this way he can just hold his bigger one there. Now, when you take the guy out of the box, he's a little bit shorter looking than this. So what you do is you just Pull the legs down, and he comes full height. Now, strangely enough, it turns out there is no Star Raiders. This was just made, uh, named that for this line. It's actually their Star Seekers. But I think they changed the name so people didn't get them confused with, like, you know, the Seekers. Star Scream and all that. At least that's what I think. And yes, he is from... The Cyclonus mold, he's a retool of it. The uh, War for Cybertron Kingdom line. So most of it's pretty much the same. Like he has the same like body. He has a little dot right here. Which, I don't know if that has anything to do with the transformation. I don't think it does. I think it's just there. And even this weapon is the same one from Cyclonus. And another weird thing is, they put his little emblem for the Star Raiders on his arm, which I've never seen one on the arm before. You know, we've seen them on like head, shoulders, chest, wings, stuff like that. His is actually supposed to go on his forehead. I don't know why they didn't bother doing that. They could have. I've seen little tiny emblems before on uh, the Transformers. They could have just put a little tiny one in there in that little spot, but no oh well. So I like the color scheme of the guy. He's got light gray, he's got this metallic gray, he's got orange, and a very dark or deep orange. It's like a reddish orange, kind of reminds me of like a pumpkin, I don't know why. He's got yellow eyes, would have been cool if they could have uh, put some light tunneling, but they don't really want to do that anymore. On the back, pretty nice, I mean there is waffling, like the wings, the back side of them. Nah, it's okay. It is the wings anyway. So, not too shabby. And you know, I do kind of like it being here. And plus, I like the arms. If it wasn't for these wings right here, it would remind me of like Mega Man arm cannon. You know, it just, it kind of has this like, it goes out, gets wider near the end, near the hand. I guess we can go over some articulation now. So, we got the head. You can go around. Mine's a little bit stiff. Now his head moves pretty good. That's because his neck piece is also moving with it. You can move just the head, which doesn't get much movement like that. But if you move the whole thing, it'll really be nice. No side to side. Oh well. Then we get the arms. They can go all the way around. The wings go along with it. They're attached to the back. So nothing gets in the way. Going up. It's a little past 90, so at the top of the elbow here, it can spin. Uh, it doesn't want to go all the way around because the wings on the arms and the wings for the back area hit each other. But you can get it pretty good though, I mean, yeah. Then we get the elbow. We get, again, a little bit past 90. And then we get the hands. Oh man, they're so tight. They, but yeah, they do go around. And that's it. They don't do anything else. Now move the arms up. His waist all the way. 
your legs to spread. Nice 180. Forward. Not quite 90. Back. We do get 90. Oop. No, I just want the leg. Here we go. That'll turn around. We get the knee, which it's single jointed, but it's a weird joint because, uh, yeah, so you just bend it, you get eh, about 90. But right here is a piece where, <laughs> like that, so you can get it to go past 90. Then it's weird because if you don't have these just right, it screws up the whole him standing evenly on both legs. He'll kind of be tilted to a side. And which kind of has happened here. Alright. That should do. Yep. Okay, that's better. And we get the feet. Feet go forward. And in. Alright, well, let's get Ferrax transformed and take a look at that. And here's Ferrax in his transform mode. So pretty nice looking. He's got those clear orange for the uh, cockpit windows. So he has all three blasters on. Pretty cool. Get those arms that turn into the jets. And on the bottom, he has three retractable landing gears. Two back here and one up there. But it wasn't hard getting this put together. It was actually kind of easy. The landing gear here keeps wanting to come down or go back up. But not bad. I like it. All right, well, that's just been my review of Star Raider Furak. And he's part of the Transformers Legacy United line. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, you all have yourselves a good one, and I will see you later.